The US Air Force has been ordered to pay the victims of a mass shooting a whopping $230 million. This is in regard to the 2017 Texas church massacre that claimed the lives of dozens of innocent people. Now, why was the Air Force held responsible for that shooting? We'll give you those details in just a moment. But first, a little bit of context, a little reminder of what happened on that tragic day. More than two dozen people were killed, including eight children, when Devin Kelly opened fire during a Sunday service at First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs. Kelly, who died of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound after being shot and chased by two men who heard the gunfire at the church, had served in the Air Force before the attack. And so here's where the Air Force comes in. Apparently, the Air Force was supposed to communicate the fact that this guy had a record, was dangerous, and should not be able to legally purchase a weapon, a gun. Uh, They failed to follow through on that, which is why he was able to legally purchase a gun. US District Judge Javier Rodriguez had ruled in July that the Air Force was 60% liable for the attack because it failed to submit Kelly's assault conviction during the time in the Air Force to a national database. And by the way, his um, history with violence was awful. I mean, just I'll give you some of the details. Uh, An Air Force record of the Kelly Court Martial says he pleaded guilty to multiple specifications of assault, including striking his wife, choking her with his hands and kicking her. He also was convicted of striking his stepson on the head and body with a force likely to produce death or grievous bodily harm. But that's not that's not all. A few months before his conviction, In that domestic violence case, Kelly briefly escaped from a mental health center in New Mexico and got in trouble for bringing guns onto a military base and threatening his superiors there. So I mean, it's not like, oh, there was a minor offense and we forgot to report it. No, this guy was getting in trouble repeatedly for using violence on people. So it's unclear why they didn't report it, but a lot of times people think, Uh, Oh My God, it would be a shame if his gun rights were taken away just because he's a violent felon. Um, People actually think that, they think the gun rights are way more important to protecting everybody else's safety. Oh, He's nearly killed his stepson and is attacking his wife. Yes, but gun rights are paramount. Uh, And I interviewed someone just uh, earlier today, you saw it in the conversation, uh, who embedded with a militia. And he says, yeah, they genuinely believe that gun rights are the most central thing in a democracy. And that every other right is combined is not as important as gun rights. Including the right to live, right? So this violent person's gun rights, according to some extreme gun advocates, is more important than the lives of the two dozen individuals who were gunned down by him at a church. Including nearly a dozen kids, I mean, it's just awful. Um, so we don't know if that's exactly why the Air Force did this, whether it was a mistake or whether it was done on purpose for political reasons, etc. But it's now cost them $230 million. I don't know how the Air Force will ever recover. They've yeah. only got hundreds of billions of dollars left now. Each year. Right, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's uh, being allocated. And no one ever asks how you're gonna pay for that. Uh, so, uh, but the reality is, by the way, Anna. Uh, so I'm glad that ju- this judgment came in. I'm glad the family members and the victims are being compensated, uh, and they should be careful about uh, being sure they put the information in the database, and not just the Air Force, but everyone, mm-hmm. right? But having said that, he would have gotten the guns anyway. It's America, you know it. it. You can get guns anywhere, anytime, for any reason. So if he wasn't in the database, he would have walked two feet down the street and gone to a pawn shop or to a, you know, swap meet or a whatever. Gun show. A gun show. Yeah, I mean, just bought bought it super easy. It's Texas. They have uh, loopholes that you can drive a Mack truck through. Yeah, and that's the real issue here, right? Because. The argument that you just made is the same argument that um, gun advocates would make, right? They would argue, well, I mean, sure, you could have the military report him to this database, but that wouldn't make a difference. Anyone who wants to get their hands on a gun can get their hands on a gun. And that's mostly because of the fact that there are those loopholes in place, that it's incredibly easy to 
avoid having to do a background check altogether. And you can purchase a gun from a private seller. Um, you can purchase a gun from a gun show without having to worry about a background check. Those loopholes, I think, are reasonable loopholes to want to close. And somehow there's pushback against well, that. Well, as always, the right wing argument is moronic and lacks all logic. Uh, so uh, we pass through uh, loopholes that are so gigantic that it makes the law meaningless. So that's why we shouldn't have any law at all. And if you took it about any other crime, it would make no sense whatsoever. Oh, yeah, well, we created so many loopholes for rapists to get away that, you know what, we should probably shouldn't have a law against rape. That is what they're saying about gun control. Since any lunatic can get their hands on one because of all the giant loopholes we've created in the law, we shouldn't do any gun control at all. And your kids should get murdered in a church because we eviscerated laws that would protect your family. It's just as nonsensical. Now, I want to add one more thing. This lack of reporting is way more common than I'm comfortable with. So this is not an isolated case. A 2017 study, for instance, found widespread negligence in reporting these crimes by the military. The inspector general looked at more than 2,500 criminal convictions in 2015 and 2016 that the military was required to report to the FBI and found persistent lapses during that two year period, ranging from a 14% failure rate for Air Force convictions to a 41% failure rate when it came to the Army. They're just not reporting it. When it's that large, <laughs> then you know it's not just an honest mistake that one or two clerks made, right? No, it's systemic mm -hmm. because they think, oh, poor criminals, you don't want to take their gun rights away. I mean, how would they murder their wives and your wives and children in a church otherwise? Gun rights! It's the gun culture that murdered all those people. And the next mass shooting, which by the way will be tomorrow, will also be the fault of gun culture where we're obsessed and we put killing machines above human lives as a priority in America. That's what we do systematically and all of the time. So that's what you have to blame all those murders on. And that's a fact. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.